Hey there, Penny again, and now we're gonna talk about running your likes campaign. So this is my newsfeed. I just signed into Facebook. This is the first thing I'm going to see here. I don't have my fan page here in my favorites. You should, it should be right here in your favorites. You should just be able to click on it and go to it. What I do is I go to my business manager. If you set up a Facebook for business account, that is what you will have to do as well. Go into business manager and then into your ads manager. So this back does look a little bit different than yours may. And we're gonna click here. And right up here in the top corner, I'm gonna create an ad. And right here is promote your page. Now I am gonna stop for just a moment. I'm gonna click that and this is what it's gonna look like. And I'm gonna stop for just a moment and go back over here to Business Manager and go to my actual page and talk for a moment about some of the things uh, that I mentioned in the last video. So this is my page. Um, there are a couple of things here. If you click this Promote button, you just hover over it and this menu will pop up. Um, at this point, I don't recommend running any of the ads you can do from here. The only thing really useful on here is invite your friends. So um, a lot of us are doing online marketing because maybe you don't want to talk to your friends about your business. That's fine. You don't have to. It is a way to improve the number of likes on your page rapidly and help you boost that number, especially if you're trying to get your first 100 so you can start running either a boosted post or clicks to website ad, a different type of ad besides just the likes campaign. But for any other type of ad, promoting your page, your website, or watching your video, I recommend doing all of those through Ads Manager and not through the blue buttons on your page because you just have a lot more um, in your control in that Ads Manager than you do when you click the blue buttons from here. The other thing I'll mention is right here, you see I have a watch video button. Um, this is your call to action button. It can say, uh, usually if it's a new page, it'll say, you know, configure your button or do something with your button. You can edit the button if it already says something and you wanna change it. And what I really recommend for new people, when you get your Elite Marketing Pro blog set up and that's training in your back office, it's under, um, my products and then you go to page creator pro and in the top right corner you will need to log in again when you're in that my product section and then under page creator pro you just scroll to the bottom you've got training there for setting up your blog and then also for your capture page system so once you get that set up i recommend creating a special attraction marketing formula capture page that has a video in it so you can make this button watch video and in that, when they click on it and they go to this page, you're gonna tell them a little bit about you and your story. Just a couple of minute long video, two to three minutes max, one to two minutes is really better. Um, why you got into home business, how maybe you struggled, and then you found a traction marketing formula and it helped you and it helped turn around your business. And how you wanna help them do the same thing by offering them the free 10 day boot camp. They can just click here to get it for free, start right now. Have a button below that, have it integrated with your opt-in page to get the boot camp. So you're delivering content, you're not going straight to a capture page. And um, in that content, you're gonna give them a little bit of value, tell them a little about yourself and how attraction marketing works, and then give them a call to action to get that boot camp. So that's gonna help you get some leads from your Facebook page. Now, we're gonna go back to the Ads Manager and run that Likes campaign. Okay, so again, we're gonna select this Promote Your Page. And from there, it's just gonna name it Page Likes. You can leave that name, you can change it. My page name is Penny S. Kelly, so I usually change it to PSK Likes, and I include the date that I started it. A likes campaign can run for a couple of months easily. There we go. All right, so we don't wanna use a custom audience. We want cold traffic because we're getting likes for the page. So when you're building the likes on your page, you're building a custom audience of your own. So you're actually building an audience within the Facebook platform 
of people who've raised their hand and said that you're, they're interested in the content that you share and the training that you provide. So you wanna stay very congruent. You don't wanna move from network marketing targets to entrepreneur and personal development targets to health and, and wellness or beauty, if that's what your products are in your MLM. You wanna stick very congruent to network marketing training so that you're building a consistent audience. So you can do the US, uh, you can throw Canada in there. I usually do United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand. I throw Ireland in there. It's, it's not a big population, but um, I like including it. Now, your ages are determined by your customer avatar exercise and what you did in market discovery to figure out what that audience should be. If you're having trouble with that, then what I recommend is take a look in the mirror, take your age, go minus 10 years plus 10 years or minus 15 years plus 15 years. That's a good place to start and you can always optimize from there down the road when you start gathering fans on your, on your page and seeing which age groups actually interact with the content that you're sharing. Now for these, I usually go either 25 up or I stop at 64. That's totally up to you. Okay, you do not have to specify English when you're in a predominant English country. And that comes from a Facebook advertising person. So these are good targets. Right here, it's showing that our potential reach is 700,000. And that's a good place to start. You can always put a couple more in there, but I think 700,000 is more than enough. It's actually a little bit broad, it says, but that's okay as long as you're in the green here. And we're just gonna start this with $5 a day. You can do $5, $10, $20, um, wherever you normally start your ads, that's where you wanna do this. If you're just starting out and you're trying to get those, um, Likes on your page, if you can, if your budget will manage $10 a day, you're gonna get those likes a whole lot faster. So I do this as run continuously at whatever my daily budget is, and then I go in and manually turn it off when either the cost per like starts going up or if the um, click-through rate or the relevancy starts changing dramatically. So this has all the countries and the age range. And that's fine, we can leave it just the way it is. Now we're gonna build our ad. You can do a video ad, you can do a slideshow of images. If you are just starting out, I suggest you keep it simple. So with this, um, this is my cover image from my Facebook page. These do okay sometimes. They do better in markets outside the US. So what I usually do is change that image and um, you can see right here, I just clicked on images. And you can either look in your library or you can get free stock images or add a new image. These are the three places. So browse library goes to the images you already have in your library. Um, the stock images are free images you can get from iStock photo or from Shutterstock rather here. And so you can find those. And then I'm just going to upload an image because I already have something here. So I'm gonna drag it over. I do just an image. I don't really put a lot of text on there because I find that this works better this way. Oh, it's already there, okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna select the one I just uploaded and we're gonna delete the original one that was there. And then we're gonna crop this to make sure we see the things we wanna see. So I think I'd rather cut off part of that second hand than her neck there. Let's see how that's gonna work. That's pretty good. So again, this should pull in your about section. I guess that dash may be what's um, messing that up there. Okay.
So quick like for tips to help you grow your home business with proven online marketing strategies and systems. You can say your network marketing business. Um, you should not say your MLM or recruit people onto your team. Those are kind of uh, trigger words for Facebook. And then I just leave my page title as the headline there. I have them land on the timeline so they can see the content I'm sharing. Um, I do go ahead and click that. I have my pixel installed on my hosted blog. So for me, I do, you can kind of follow the trail and see when people like your page and eventually click and go to your site. Um, it is not necessary. You don't have to worry about that. You do not have to track conversions. I do not run these on the desktop. So we're going to have to scroll down to get to placement, I believe. Oh, actually, that was back here on the ad set. So we're going to go backwards to ad set. They made it so sneaky. You see in this little section here where we did our targeting placements, automatic. So when you're down here in the ad and you're looking at that, when it shows placements that you don't want, you need to go back to that section of the ad set over here to find that. So you're going to edit the placements. It's not eligible for audience network. That's great. We don't want that anyway or Instagram. All right, it looks like it's not letting us just do the mobile. So we'll keep the mobile. Um, I'm going to keep the right column in there. Originally, we used to teach to only do these on mobile. And then right column started performing as well. I normally would not run a likes campaign on the news feed, but it looks like they're not letting us make that choice right now. Um, so hopefully that is something that they will bring back. I'm going to go back down here to our ad, take a look at it. There it is in the desktop. That's what it's going to look like on mobile. And then here for the right column. We're just going to place that order. Um, and you see it's already approved there. So usually the likes campaigns get approved pretty quickly if you don't have any, um, any language in there that's questionable or that raises a flag. So that's going to be ongoing. And in the next video, I will start showing you how to share those blog posts so that you can uh, get started getting those leads and making those sales inside your EMP marketing system. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I look forward to seeing you really soon on a traffic webinar or in another training in the community. Have a great day.